I'm here with Ruben from Upon a Burning Body. How you doing? Uh, doing great, man. You guys just played your set. Like, I mean, it was awesome. But how how was it for you guys? The energy on this tour has been amazing. It's like a true like a statement to what uh, is to come from Warp. Like, you know, it feels like after Warp, like the crowd has grown so much, and like all the chants are just like loud and louder and crazier. The crowds are getting crazy and crazy. It's cool. Yeah, this tour is just one over. You only got a couple shows left. Like, yeah, two more after like, this. So far as a whole, it's been a great tour. Oh, amazing. Like I said, every almost every night has been sold out, and almost every show has been like the one you just saw. So it's been like, really nice. All right, well, your latest album, Red Blood Green, has been out for almost 20 months now. Like, is there any current plans for new music? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. We've been, we've been writing. It's just uh, we see all the like all the good stuff that's coming our way, and we're, we just want to make sure we release the best possible record. And like, right now, we're still like listening to it, and we're just like, ah, it needs to be better. It could be better. It could be better. So we keep kind of, you know, redoing it, redoing it. And, like, we're, we're, we're getting there. I feel like in January, we're going to record, and, like, you know, we have something out by March. I believe Red, White, Green actually hit like 105 on the Billboard Top 200. Does, yeah. does something like that surprise you or did you yeah. expect the album to do really well? Especially for, I guess, like an underground like metal you know, kind of band, I guess it, it was it was a surprise to all of us. Like we, Our manager texted us our messages on, on email, we're just like, like, we couldn't believe it. We're like, wow, that's amazing. Man. It was a big surprise to us. Anyone that knows anything about you guys, the new album, every song on the album is referenced to a Robert Rodriguez film. Which one's your personal favorite? Uh, mine, uh, that's a tough one. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's a eerie song, but the, it's a eerie movie, but the song itself is kind of a lot of emotional. What about from the first one? Though? I know that's all like classic games. First one has to be uh, Carlitos Way, probably my favorite. Alright, what's been your favorite song to play live? Like, Sin City, I think, is taking cake. That's why we usually end with it. Yeah, yeah, that one, and then, uh, obviously intermission. So we try to start and end with our like, strongest songs. All right, what's the best concert you've ever attended that you did not play? The best concert ever attended, uh, Pledge of Allegiance tour. Like that was like probably like 2000, I don't know, four, two. I don't know. It was a long time ago. It was a Slipknot, Ramstein, System of a Down. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Mud Babies. Yeah. What have been some of your favorite music releases from this year? This year, uh, I like the new Soil work actually. I think it's super metal and I like it a lot. I was like, it's, it's really catchy. I, I never really listened to it when I heard this record and I was just like, wow, it's really cool. And uh, what's another new record that came out? I'm trying to think. Noma Jean? You know Noma Jean? Yeah, I know Noma Jean. Yeah, very cool. I like it a lot. All right, after this tour is over, what's next for Fine Burning Body? Is it just going to record? Do you have any more dates coming up? Or? Yeah, we're going to take some time off for the holidays. We have our festival coming up in uh, Texas. We yeah. have like four days, and it's like our, our own festival called Everything's Bigger in Texas Fest. And this year is like super metal. We have like Die Artist Murder, uh, Fit for an Autopsy, As Blood Runs Black. Like, it's just like super metal. We have a couple of Florida locals there. I believe they're serving plan. Yeah, it is. Cool. It's going to be good, man. It's going to be crazy. Alright, well thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, anytime. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is Brandon from Rise Above the Anchor. We'll talk to you next time.